video describes a process for fueling spark ignited or passive LNG vehicles. They're called passive because they use the fuel's pressure to feed to the engine. You can identify these systems by the external venting port on top of the fuel tanks. It can take several minutes to prepare a station for dispensing, so you may want to call ahead and have the Blue Network Operations Center start the preparations before you arrive. Fueling an LNG-powered vehicle is not complicated, but LNG is stored at very cold temperatures, so you'll want to take a few precautions. Contact with extremely cold fuel or metal surfaces can cause freeze burns to expose skin. To protect yourself from the cold fuel and surfaces, you'll wear personal protective equipment. A face shield or spoggles protect your eyes from the potential but unlikely release of the super cold vapor or liquid. Thermally insulated gloves make it possible to handle the cold hoses and valves. A long sleeve shirt, long pants, and leather shoes are recommended to protect your skin from accidental exposure. Before you start fueling, be sure the tank's fueling port is close enough to the dispenser that you won't need to stretch or bend the venting or fueling hoses. Your fuel tanks are well insulated and can keep LNG in a liquid state for a week or more, but eventually the temperature of the LNG will start to increase. If it does, the liquid fuel converts to vapor and increases the pressure in the tank. One of the first things to do is check that pressure. If you have two tanks, check the pressure in both. With some tanks, the pressure gauges are behind the fuel tank shroud. If the pressure in either tank is above 160 PSI, you'll need to remove some vapor before adding the fuel. Use the compressed air hose attached to the side of the dispenser to clean the venting hose nozzle of possible debris or moisture. Then slide the nozzle onto the venting port and twist clockwise until it's tight. Next, open the vent to station valves by turning them counterclockwise. With the valves open and the venting hose attached, natural gas vapor vents back to the station tank. Close each tank's vent valve when that tank's pressure gets down to 140 PSI. Your fueling system relies on pressure to feed fuel to the engine, so be careful not to vent your tanks too much. When you're done venting, spray any frost off the nozzle and the port, replace the cap on the fitting, and return the nozzle to its receptacle. Next, pull the dust cap off the fueling port and use the compressed air to remove any moisture or debris from it. This helps prevent leaks or unnecessary wear on the equipment. Also use the compressed air to clean the fueling nozzle. Then attach it to the fueling port by depressing the red safety lever if there is one and pulling the butterfly handles all the way back. Carefully slide the nozzle over the fueling port and then push the handles all the way forward. Now you're ready to start filling your tanks. Press the LNG button on the dispenser. Fuel will cool the dispenser by circulating from the storage tank through the dispenser and then back to the tank. When the dispenser is sufficiently cooled, fuel will begin flowing to your vehicle. The dispenser will automatically shut off when the tanks are full. If pressure rises above a specified level in the tanks, the dispenser shuts off even though the tanks are not full. If this happens and pressure in one or both of your tanks is above 160 PSI, vent them back to 140 PSI again and press pause resume to restart the fueling. When you finish fueling, wait a minute or so before removing the nozzle to allow dispenser pressure to drop below 90 PSI. Then slowly open the handles on the fueling nozzle to release pressure in case there's an unexpected release of vapor and to prevent damage to the nozzle. When the handles are most of the way back, press the red safety lever if there is one to disconnect the nozzle from the tank. If your tank has separate venting and fueling ports for each tank, you'll need to vent and fuel the second one after finishing with the first. When you're done fueling, use the compressed air to remove any frost from the nozzle and then return it to its receptacle. Finally, spray the frost off the fueling port and put the dust cap back on with a push and a twist. As you get to know your vehicle, you may find that it varies somewhat from the general features outlined in this video. You'll also find that LNG fueling is safe and easy when you follow the recommended procedures.